Matt. Thank you. Crews will be back at the scene of that water main break in the city's Northern Liberty section this morning, trying to restore service and get the trolleys moving again in that area. This was the scene yesterday morning when the main burst along the 1100 block of North 4th Street. Water flooded apartment buildings and a fire station, leaving residents without power or water. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is joining us live from the scene with the latest on the widespread impact. It is very cold to be out there with no power and no water, Catherine. Yeah, this was just a mess and you can see today the Gerard remained closed. The barricades are in the street here. The actual break and road collapse took place on nearby 4th Street, but the big focus today uh, is getting Gerard back open and also removing mud off the trolley tracks to get the trolley back running. So I heard a big boom. And I looked outside and I saw water pouring out of the sidewalks, the actual street. We were just working down uh, in a basement. We got gym there, so suddenly we saw water come in from the corners, and literally like few seconds, half of our legs they're like under the water. So we had to run upstairs as fast as possible. As I was walking to my car, which is right here. Um, the water was rushing down the street this way. Some guy came and delivered us all trash bags and we all walked through the river. You can see drone six overhead yesterday. The big hole in this Northern Liberty Street after a break in a 20 inch water main. It left water gushing into multiple city blocks and nearby buildings. Yesterday morning around 9 a.m., crews were called to North 4th Street near Girard. The street had flooded. There's water damage to surrounding buildings and businesses and homes, as well as the fire station at 4th and Girard. Crews from the water and streets departments were on scene. They worked to pump out water and make repairs, but in the process, a number of connectors needed to be shut down, meaning people lost water. Some lost power, others were displaced. There was a partial street collapse with vehicles sinking into a hole. The work continues today. Girard Street between 3rd and 4th is currently shut down, and we do not know when it will be reopened. Uh, they're working as hard as they can to get this repaired. This is a pretty significant break, so we expect this area to be um, out of service for some time. And you're now looking at 4th Street, which is covered in mud. You can see the work will continue here today as well. The water main break damaged engine 29 station, which is right on the corner here. While it's cleaned and repaired, the companies housed here will be temporarily moved to other stations. They're still going to respond to all local calls in the area. And according to fire department, it's not going to impact any response times. We're live in Northern Liberty's Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Catherine, thank you.